In this video, I'm going to be talking about the boxing prospect which represents a threat to most fighters in his division. An underdog who could end up being avoided by the top fighters because of how risky fighting he might be for the well-being of their pro careers. I'm talking about none other than Edgar Berlanga, the most dangerous boxer in actuality. Berlanga is a 23-year-old American, descendant of Puerto Rican parents, who currently holds a professional record of 16 wins, 16 knockouts, every single one of them being in the first round. I mean, Berlanga doesn't only have a perfect 100% KO percentage, but all of his fights have lasted less than 3 minutes. On average, his fights last around 100 seconds, and the longest pro fight he has ever had lasted 2 minutes and 45 seconds. If this doesn't show the power and potential this young fighter holds, then I don't know what would. Berlanga has positioned himself in the super middleweight division, meaning the 168 pounds. In this division, you can find big names such as Billy Joe Saunders, Caleb Plant, David Benavides, possibly Germar Charlo in the future, and of course, Saul Canelo Alvarez. There's been a few comments thrown out by analysts saying that Berlanga reminds them a little bit of Mike Tyson. Berlanga himself has claimed that Tyson has been an inspiration of his, and if I'm not mistaken, Tyson has even complimented the young fighter on his performances. There's been plenty of fighters known for having crazy power in their hands, and for having long streaks of consecutive knockouts. The best and most recent examples would be Gennady Golovkin and John T. Wilder, two boxers who pretty much knocked out everyone they faced. But once again, Berlanga is not only holding a 16 knockout streak since 2016, he also holds a 16 knockout streak in the first round, which is undeniably remarkable. I already know that people are going to state the fact that Berlanga has only faced lower tier opponents until now, which I do believe is a fair argument. Berlanga has only beat up fighters who are nowhere near the elite level of their respective divisions, but I do believe that the fact that he has gone in the ring 16 times and hasn't been hurt at all by anyone is really something we should take into account. When I say he's the most dangerous fighter, I don't mean I believe he could beat someone like Canelo tomorrow. What I mean is that he's the fighter who is most likely to upset a big name in the super middleweight division in the future. By dangerous, I mean he's an underdog who could ruin the dreams of lots of elite fighters from the 168 pound division from having the opportunity of having a big money fight against someone like Canelo in the future. What I mean is, Berlanga is likely going to be avoided by the big names that have a chance of a big money fight in the near future simply because nobody knows how good or bad he actually is. He has only faced low tier opponents, that's true, but he has blasted through all of them, making me think he would fare well at the higher levels, and taking a fight against him without really knowing how good he is would be a ballsy move for anyone today. For the last few years, Edgar Berlanga has been fighting a minimum of 3 fights a year. Knowing that all his fights have lasted less than 3 minutes and that he hasn't suffered any damage in any of them, one could argue that he could fight even more times, but knowing that he had to partake in training camps for all of them, then I do believe that 3 fights a year is a fair amount. His most recent fight was against a 32 year old American, Ulisa Sierra. The bout took place in Las Vegas the 12th of December of 2020. The fight ended after 2 minutes with 40 seconds in the first round, after Sierra had been dropped 3 times by Berlanga. After the fight, Berlanga stated that he was debating on whether or not he should let the fight continue to a second round, but ended up thinking, if I can finish it now, then I will. This could very well be an indication that the first round knockout streak could be having an effect over Berlanga's psyche. Just as undefeated fighters can get in their heads over losing ones, if Berlanga isn't careful, he might get a little too into his head not only over his undefeated record, and not only over his knockout streak, but also over his first round knockout streak. If Berlanga comes out with everything he's got in the first round against an elite level opponent, then he could end up wasting the opportunity of leveling up simply because he got greedy. But so far everything has been working out for him, and I do believe we'll keep on watching him win this 2021. Being honest, I really doubt Berlanga will get a title shot this year. Not only is he not ranked high enough in any of the different belts rankings, but Canelo is planning to fight both the remaining champions in the division, Saunders and Plant, this year. Meaning that it will be crazy for both Saunders and Plant to fight anyone who could pose a threat to them before fighting Canelo. This isn't only because if they lose they no longer get the big money fight against Canelo, but the thing is, even if they win, if they get caught or hurt, that could end up affecting their performance against Canelo, or worse, if they get injured bad enough, then their chances of getting a big money fight against Canelo this year would go away. 
So what I'm trying to say is, there's no way Berlanga fights for any championship title in the 168 pound division this year. But that doesn't mean he can face good opposition. There's been talks and rumors of Berlanga wanting to fight Gabe Rosado in a Puerto Rican versus Puerto Rican fight this year. There's also been rumors of David Benavides wanting to face Berlanga in the future. Nothing is confirmed yet, but I do believe it's time Berlanga stepped up against some better opposition. Maybe not the best in the division just yet, but a step up is for sure needed right now in order for him to make a name for himself in the division and position himself for big fights in 2022. I would personally love to watch him fight against fighters like Abe Rosado, David Lemieux, Avni Gildurim and John Ryder before he went and fought someone like Benavides. But what do you guys think? Do you think Berlanga is a promising prospect or do you think he's just hype? Don't forget to leave your opinions in the comment section below. Also remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, goodbye.